Good morning and welcome to today's weather forecast, the 5th January 2050. I'm Lavnes Chabalingu. Dry and hot air coming from the Karahari Desert has continued advancing into Zambia and drying much of the southwestern parts of the country, limiting the intertropical convergence zone to the northern parts of the country. And the forecast for this morning, sunny weather conditions over the southwestern parts is expected with temperatures ranging from 11 to 12 degrees Celsius elsewhere. It will be partly cloudy with the temperatures ranging from 17 over Sulawesi to 24 degrees Celsius over Chipata. This afternoon, showers and thunderstorms are expected to be limited to the northern parts of the country with the temperatures in the range of 29 degrees Celsius over Sulawesi to 48 degrees Celsius in the eastern province, while the southwestern parts of the country will continue being sunny and very hot with the temperatures rising to as high as 45 degrees Celsius over Mongo, while Livingstone is expected to have a maximum temperature of 44 degrees Celsius. This heat wave has now entered the second week when at this time of the year, under normal circumstances, it should be raining over the southwestern parts of the country and this is posing the risk of drought. This is the kind of weather forecast you are likely to see in the next 30 years if we do not take action on global climate change. The drought and water shortage we have seen in recent years will continue with major impacts on crops, livestock, hydropower generation, wildlife, tourism and bushfires. According to the climate research, that has been done by the IPCC. This trend is likely to continue so that by the middle of this century, when today's young people are still in their middle age, temperatures will be several degrees higher. Heat waves, drought, flash floods, malaria, food security will be the talk of the day. Healthy and resilient ecosystems are shock absorbers that protect us from natural hazards. Charcoal burning, illegal timber cutting, and controlled bushfires weakens the resilience of forests to climate variability and climate change, compromising their vital role as water recharge areas and carbon sinks. Climate change is a major challenge and it is real. But through care of planning, a range of measures can be successively put into place to reduce the impacts. The science is clear. Climate change is caused by people, by us. Smart action can protect our drinking water, our food supply, and our quality of life. Well, that's all we had for you on the Weather Focus. Join us again tomorrow at the same time. Climate change is affecting the weather everywhere. It makes it more extreme and disturbs established patterns. That means more disasters, more uncertainty. We can reduce the risks by cutting global greenhouse gas emissions and building low carbon economies. Let's work together to make our societies safer and more resilient. Please join me in taking action on climate change. Thank you.